And now, a zone at 913, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Malignant might be the first movie I've ever reviewed where I'm still unsure as to whether I liked the film or I hated it. I mean, it's director James Wan doing what he knows best, horror flicks. In case you didn't know, he's the filmmaker behind The Conjuring movies and its spin-offs like The Nun and Annabelle. And I guess your love or disdain for Malignant all depends on what lens you view it from. And you'll very much know and understand what I'm talking about a few minutes in. To most, the film, namely the dialogue, will come off as horribly campy, almost to the point where it can seem like a B-movie. Your interpretation of this, either as intentional satire or just plain bad writing, will make or break your overall feelings for the film even before the credits roll. For horror fans, I will say that it's pretty relentless in its gore and the first act does a great job of ramping up the tension. The wide panning shots, the sound mix, and setup for jump scares is at a level on par with the Conjuring movies, but that seems to go away by about the second act. And aside from its use in this one particular scene, which is this fantastic continuous overhead shot of the inside of the house, the set pieces didn't seem at all genuine. You immediately notice the main character is living in a creepy house that's pretty well a blatant setup for spooky shenanigans. But as a viewer, I never really moved past the feeling of the house and other backdrops being a movie set. I wish I could get into some specifics about the movie without spoiling a major plot point, but I can't. I will say that there is a bit of a shift around the movie's climax that makes it seem a little less like a horror movie and a little more like an action movie. And I think I really love that part. All in all, parts of the movie made me jump, other parts made me squirm, and many parts made me laugh. So I guess Malignant did its job? Cut! That's a wrap!